In this video, I'm going to show you how to create 3D puffy font. You can do this manually. There are a couple things that you need to edit or change on the text. So with 3D font, there uh, are a couple things that we need to do. First, the underlay of the letters, we don't want that to smush the foam too much. So we can change that to a simple center line. And we also want the stitch length to be a bit longer. That way it's not punching the foam and uh, tacking it down too much. We just need a light run stitch. So you can see that change to a four millimeter run and it's a center line. On each letter, we need to create what's called a cap because if the stitches are just going left to right here, the foam can stick out on the bottom and the top. So what we will do is using our satin stitch, we can create a small shape on the end of each letter. So this is our cap. We don't need the density to be too close together. I can keep it at 0.5 and the direction of those stitches, I just want them to be facing up and down. So I can add a angle line up and down. This will be my cap. And just so you can see the difference and I'm going to layer this underneath the letter so as I place it I can use uh, these keys to move it to the back now we can just duplicate this item and I can use this for the bottom just by rotating it this way those stitches moving up and down will cover the edge of the letter and it will create a cap for that foam and the foam will not stick out from the bottom of the letter so you will do this on the ends of each and you can just use the same cap and duplicate it or resize it as necessary to better fit underneath the letter The density of our text should be pretty close together. We don't want that foam to poke out from underneath. So I'm going to set this down to either a 0.3 or a 0.2, and that way it will be thick enough to cover all of the foam. And that is the basics on creating 3D puff font. Um, give it a try and let us know how it goes.